That's a proof fam. Peace and blessings. This is Derek Rockumore. And as you can see, um, I was in Puerto Rico, you know, um, last week or so. So first of all, I want to go ahead and say hopefully everybody had a pretty safe holiday and everything. Your families and everything, they returned back to where they, they you know, their respective destinations uh, safely. And, um, you know, like I said, the second thing I want to talk about, I want to apologize for going ahead and not uh making a video but this is the reason why i was traveling to puerto rico uh with family and friends uh for a wedding um so that's where i was at and fortunately as soon as i got here man talking about falling in love with the place talk about being deprived of sunlight and freshness good god you know when you're living up in the states you know stateside good gosh um seriously deprived of sun and freshness and everything you know so this was really refreshing this was a you know very beautiful very beautiful island um want to um mention you know i saw a couple of other people they did some videos they talked about the crime and all that kind of stuff you know people always focus on the negative um of course everywhere you go you got to use common sense you know um, there's a lot of touristy places and all that kind of stuff and that's not what I'm focusing on here um, I wanted to focus on the you know, like I said the positives the beauty of the area So here's five things that I think that people don't know about Puerto Rico Number one There's more to Puerto Rico than San Juan and Ponce um Every time I, you know, I talk to people who actually went to Puerto Rico, this is where they're telling me, oh, you know, well, yeah, I went to Puerto Rico and I went to San Juan, you know, or, or I went to Ponce. And these are basically um, the, the two major cities in, on the island. And uh, for the most part, uh, it's, it's really touristy, you know. Um, so i don't want to say that the people are fake and all that kind of stuff that's not what i want to say but i mean for the most part like i said it's a tourist you know there's a lot of tourist traps and stuff uh, i wanted to actually go and visit where you know the, you know deal with the real people you know and 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 this is where i went you know so this is why i went to all the different areas and i went to all the different regions and all that kind of stuff and i had people you know like I said, family and friends, they was teaching me how to cook and all that kind of stuff, certain things. And, you know, I was, like I said, loving it. Um, loving the fact that, like I said, everything is, is fresh, you know. Um, very, you know, like I said, it, it, it was, it's a, a different experience, different experience, especially to go ahead and be able to, you know, pick fruit out of your backyard and, and be able to eat that and everything. I mean, that is interesting, you know? Um, so yeah, like I said, it, it, it was a beautiful thing, but you're not gonna be able to experience that or see any of that if you don't go, uh, you know, if you're just in, like I said, San Juan and Ponce. So it's best to go in here and really go to Puerto Rico with people who've actually been there, who actually are from there. Uh, they will go ahead and they will help you to get that real island experience and see, you know, what the rave is about. Because like I said, it is very beautiful. Second, Puerto Rico has fresh produce all year round. So when you go there, um, everything that they serve, everything that you eat, is just fresh because mainly... I mean, every backyard I went to, um, <laughs> everybody was growing something, okay? Um, this backyard you see right here, there is a mango tree. Uh, there is an avocado tree. There is a, you know, there was a coconut tree. There was, you know, bananas that was growing here. Not to mention, you know, the herbs and, and, um, you know, the beans, the, the beans that a lot of them eat, you know, a lot of people in Puerto Rico, eat, which are what they call grandules. Um, it was all basically, like I said, it's all homegrown. And um, that's one of the things I think a lot of people, you know, like I said, they don't take, they don't understand that. Um, I don't know all the politics in regards to how come we don't get uh, any of our 
produce from there instead of getting it from Mexico. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I, I don't know. You know, somebody's going to have to explain that to me. Uh, because I think if we were to get a lot of our produce or so from there, yeah, I think it would change a lot of things. Um, but, you know, like I said, that's, that's another story, you know. We're going to talk about that later, I guess. But anyway, like I said, yeah, that's the second thing again. Like I said, all the produce there, all the produce um, they have fresh produce all year round. Third thing, Puerto Rico has a very rich culture. Um, like I said, I think a lot of times, you know, when you're coming from the States or so, um, again, there's a lot of stereotypes that have been made about um, people from Puerto Rico um, or about even, you know, the island of Puerto Rico. Um, what a lot of people from the states don't understand or don't know because they don't teach this, you know, talk about American history, is that Puerto Rico is considered to be a commonwealth. Um, I always say that a commonwealth is, for the most part, that's the politically correct term for colony. Um, but as a result, um, a lot of the the you know, Puerto Rico, like I said, they have a very, very rich culture. Um, from my understanding, uh, there's, you know, they have the strong Spanish influence. Uh, the Taino Indians, uh, they have that influence. Um, there's also the strong, you know, African influence. And I believe there's... I believe uh, that, for the most part, that's what pretty much makes up uh, the the nationality of the people. Number four, Puerto Rico is well-developed. Um, not only is Puerto Rico a, a very well-developed uh, society, uh, it seems like after every hardship, uh, the people, for the most part, they rebuilt their culture to be more vibrant than ever. Um, and I mean, I'm talking about like after the hurricanes, after the earthquakes and everything, they basically rebuilt it, you know? Um, but yeah, that's, you know, like I said, that's another misconception that a lot of people have uh, about Puerto Rico that they think it's, you know, uh, kind of like a third world country or something, but it's not. Um, like I said, it's very well developed um, society. Number five, Puerto Rico has a very rich African influence. Um, you know, the first time I heard about Louisa, Puerto Rico, um, it was from Dr. Marta um, Moreno Vega. Um, she had mentioned how, um, you know, how Louisa was like, uh, it was basically considered to be the African heart of Puerto Rico. Uh, from my understanding, when, um, when slavery was abolished, this is where a lot of the Africans, uh, they settled and basically made, you know, made this town and everything. Uh, and like I said, it's called Louisa. And, um... For the most part, I know that they, you know, they are, it's considered to be uh, very influential in regards to retaining a lot of the, the African culture, uh, African and Taino culture. Um, one of the uh, kioscos was, um, is world renowned, you know, Kiosco uh, Boricua. It was you know, <laughs> very, I, I've seen it on TV and everything about how well, how good the food was and everything. Um, but, and, and I, like I said, w this is one of the places I really wanted to visit. Um, unfortunately, you know, there was no festivals or anything going on. Um, uh, so didn't get a chance to get like any of the, the, you know, any of their artwork or any of that kind of stuff. Cause I really wanted to go ahead 
and partaking of it and, and all that. But like I said, you know, come the next time, the next time when I go down here to Puerto Rico, uh, this is going to be one of the one of my destinations that I'm going to have to spend a little bit more time at. Hopefully um, you all enjoyed this because like I said, I just wanted to give a little taste of what was going on um, in Puerto Rico because this is my first experience. Uh, as you can see, this last slide, uh, you know, going to show you how warm the people are. But basically, I got spanked by some elders and, and some dominoes because uh, they don't play dominoes the way we play. Uh, they call the way we play dominoes five tens and fifteens, and that ain't how they was playing. So. But anyway, <laughs> it was still a pretty cool experience to go ahead and play with them. So, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, until next time, that's a poo. Peace.